Ray Houghton, thanks very much for joining us on Aircom.net. Your recommendations now in place. What are your thoughts? <laughs> Relieved, delighted, <laughs> mixed emotions, to be honest. I mean, it's, uh, it's been a long time. Let's be brutally honest about it. I mean, when we first started uh, the procedure, we didn't realise it was going to take as long as it did. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't always work out the way you, you plan it. And that's been the, the case in point here. But I'll say that it's been worth it now. You know, today's been worth it. The fact that we've got in the man that we feel is going to take the international team forward is worth the last few weeks of pain. Tell me a little bit about what you know of his CV. Most people know some bits. Well, I mean, it's, it's like a who's who. I mean, how long have you got? I mean, if you put it up, you'll be there for weeks reading about it. The fact remains, he's a winner. And that's the bottom line. Simple as that. Wherever he's been, he's, been, he's won trophies. And he gets the best out of the players that he's got. Now, that's something that we would like to happen for the future. You know, our lads probably just need a little bit of self-belief, a bit of confidence. Maybe a little bit of organisation, you know, everyone knows exactly what's required from him. But I think it's, it's happy days for the players. I mean, if I was a player today, you know, I, I'd be very excited by this appointment because I would want to be a winner. I'd look at him and no, see what he's achieved and think he must have something about him. He must know what the game's about. What can I learn from him? Uh, and my future would look brighter because... It doesn't matter when or however long you play football, you can always learn. There's always certain things you don't know, something different. Someone can tell you something you think, oh, never really thought of that. I think the players are going to get that from Mr Trapattoni. You've met him now a couple of times, I assume. Um, what questions did he ask you about the Irish setup? Well, you know, just the, the formation that we play, the players that we've got, do our wingers get in, do they score goals, do the midfield players, you know, do they have that mentality of, you know, when the ball goes forward, they go forward together? You know, do the forwards make runs out wide? Do they get opportunities to score goals? I mean, it was very intensive, to be honest. I thought he was interviewing us at one stage. I mean, it was quite, it was, it was very, very good. I mean, two hours that we had with a man and it was just all pure football, you know, and you could see uh, his enthusiasm coming through and he had this great attitude towards the game. You know, I think he wants to prove himself at international level. He's got an opportunity with Ireland. Yes, we're playing against Italy. We put that point to him, like anyone would, you know. But his, his answer to it was, you know, that he's really looking forward to it. He wants to prove himself. He wants to play against, you know, like a team where he'd been before and he wants to put one over on them. So this will all come out when he finally, you know, comes to Ireland to be the manager. But certainly, you know, the age question is not a problem for me. You know, that was something that, you know, I was a little bit wary of going to meet him. Of course, you have to be. You have to have an open mind about that. But I haven't spoken to him for 10, 15 minutes. Nah, not a problem at all. In fact, he put a lot of us to shame with the fact that how fit he is. You know, he trains every day with his players and, you know, he says, I am on the field with the players and then I train afterwards as well. And Don and I, the two Dons and I were looking around, looking at our... Uh, Maybe a little bit too big a belly, maybe we've overeaten and maybe not trained as hard as we have in recent times, but you know, he's just in fabulous shape and his mind's all there. You know, he knows exactly what he wants to do. And the, and the setup that he's bringing, what's he going to bring with him? Well, he's going to bring uh, someone who you can trust. I mean, I think that's very important. His assistant is someone that you can trust. Uh, then there'll be a fitness coach that comes along with him as well. His job, I would say, is to assess the player's fitness, who needs more training than who doesn't. Uh, so that's. You know, by the by, that's a natural thing to do, and you know, I think he's going to bring in a, an Irish person as well alongside him, which, you know, they they can be the the link between the fans and and the players as well. So, you know, he's thought this through. It's not something he's taken on lightly. You know, he, he's he's got a fantastic CV, and he's got that for a reason. It's because of his attitude to his work. You know, this is his job. This is what he believes in, and there's no way that he's going to put that in peril by coming to the Republic of Ireland and not doing his job. He will be 100% committed to the, the job in hand. And you conducted your chats in English, I believe. Well, <laughs> well, this fella can speak Italian, Portuguese, German, and he says Spanish was very easy to pick up as well, which rather embarrassed the likes of Don Owen and myself, who can only speak English and not the best at that either. So, yeah, this fella has obviously got a panache for, for languages. He picks up very quickly. We could understand his English. Uh, he said if he gets the job, he will go to school to learn English uh, so he can get it even better and quicker so that he can converse with the players as well. So I've got no problem with that as, at all. You know, he can put his point of view across on the football field to the players. He can do that now. In a few months' time, when he, he finally arrives, he'll be even better. Exciting times ahead. Thank you very much for joining us on Aircom.net. My pleasure. Thanks very much.